Good morning. I am in northern Arkansas today, and I am going to be hitting a couple of spots in the northwestern and north central part of the state. Um, but I am at my first spot, and so right now I am in the Illinois River watershed, which is a sub drainage of the Arkansas River. So, first up are these sunburst darters. Um, these are a fairly new species. They were described not too long ago, um, but these were split from the similar stipple darter. But these are found in like the Arkansas River drainage. So like the Illinois, Neosho. Here's another one over here. But I am going to go ahead and release these and move on to the next fish. And so here is the Arkansas darter. These are found in the Arkansas River watershed from the extreme northwestern part of Arkansas all the way up to Colorado. But these are really vibrant with that orange belly. Uh, that's not really a good view. But like from the top, they just look like bland darters. But from below, they are brilliantly colored. And they're usually found in more shallow uh, bodies of water. Like this is the creek that these were found in. And they were just found under like this aquatic vegetation. But I'm going to go ahead and return these um, right where I found them. And then I'll move to the next fish. And so here are some plateau darters. Um, these are part of the orange throat darter complex. But this is another species here that is endemic to the Arkansas River watershed. But it's a really pretty darter. I love the colors on these. Especially that red. That is really cool. But these were found in this bigger creek and in the smaller creeks. So they were found in just about any size body of water. Um, but I am going to go ahead and let these go and move on to the next fish. And so here is a banded sculpin. Um, these turn up just about everywhere. Um, they are a very wide-ranging species. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this sculpin go. And I need to change out the water. And so now I'm going to move on to the crayfish for a little bit. Um, I found three species here. Um, first up is the ringed crayfish. Um, these are the most common crayfish here. Well, actually they might be one of two of the most common crayfish here. But um, it's pretty cool to see these again. But I'm going to go ahead and let him go. Um, this is a Form 2 male, by the way. All of the crayfish that I'm going to show you are Form 2 males. So, there's one last look at it. So, here is the midget crayfish. Um, this is the other contender for the most common crayfish here. 
and its ecological niche is gravelly substrate. So that's where it lives. Um, it's just kind of small gravel and cobble. But I'm gonna go ahead and let him go now. Um, it is a pretty small crayfish. So like, here is my hand for scale. And this is actually a pretty large one. Um, most of the ones that I found here were a lot smaller than this. And so the last crayfish is the viral crayfish. Um, this was the only one that I found here. I didn't spend too much time looking for crayfish here. I was mainly looking for fish. Um, but I'm sure if I spent more time looking for crayfish, I would have turned some up. And now back to the fish. Here is a young slender mad tom. And you can tell it's a slender mad tom, not just by the elongated body shape, um, but also from the black edges on the fins. But really cool. I think this is the first one from this trip. But there you go, buddy. And so the last fish here is the Cardinal Shiner. Um, these are really pretty when they are colored up in breeding mode, but it seems I have just slightly missed their season. Um, there is one, like this one right here still has some pink on its fins, but they can get a majestic red. They look really pretty colored up. But yeah, Cardinal Shiners, and this will be the last fish from the spot. And so I'm going to go ahead and let these go. I am now at my second spot for the day. I moved a little ways east, and I am now in the White River watershed. Um, so there are some different stuff over here than there was at that last spot. And so the first find at this spot is the Ozark Log Perch. So that's really cool. I've never seen one of these before. And so next up is a rainbow darter. And this one looks a lot different than the ones I'm used to seeing. But I guess this is what they just look like over here. And so right here is a large scale stone roller. Um, I have these back home. And so ringed crayfish are also here. Um, I didn't spend too much time looking for crayfish, so I just got this little sub-adult. And I really wish I had more time to look for more of these, but I just found this sub-adult female. But this is a long pinchered crayfish, and they can have some really long claws as adults. But this will be the last find from this spot that I show you. Alright, so it looks like the weather has caught up to me. Um, it's been sprinkling and I know there's thunderstorms coming. Alright, so I am going to see if I can make it to one last spot today. Um, and hopefully I can get there before it starts raining. All right, so I am at my last spot for the day and I am at this uh, mountain roadside.
in the Ozarks of Arkansas, or actually the Boston Mountains. And why, you may ask, why I'm out here is because I was looking for a crayfish. But look at that. There is a roadside ditch. All the way up here. And yes, crayfish do live here. One species in particular. And that is the Boston Mountains crayfish. It is a member of the genus Cambarus, which is really unusual for west of the Mississippi. Um, these are actually more closely related to uh, what was formerly the Jugai Cambarus. And some of those species are stream dwellers, but a lot of them are burrowers, such as this species. Um, so that is really cool um, that and this species is living out here where you would not expect it. Um, I just found juveniles, but hey, that's better than no Boston Mountains crayfish. But it's got some pretty yellow orange legs, um, kind of similar to the mountain crayfish, Cambarus conosoga insis, uh, close to home. And it has some bristles on its claws, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of the mitten crayfish in the mountains where Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina come together. And the rostrum is really narrow, and there's no marginal spines. But it's really cool to see the species. But I am going to go ahead and return it to the ditch where it came from. And that'll be it for today. So here you go, buddy. Well, that was an awesome wrap to the day, um, but I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.